My name is Radhika Nakpal. I'm a professor at Harvard University. And I do bio-inspired robotics. I'm really interested in how groups can work together really well. So my name is Eric Schlunz. I'm studying electrical engineering at Harvard University. I'm Kate Donahue. I'm a sophomore at Harvard College. I'm concentrating in math and physics. So I'm part of RFC Cambridge. It's a joint Harvard-MIT team. We basically build robots that play soccer. So the challenge of the RoboCup competition, and it's an international competition that was started by people in the US and Japan, actually, is to create a team of robots that can play and possibly win against the world champions of the World Cup. There are teams from all around the world, and because we're so far spread out, it's really hard for us to get to test our robots against each other. So it's basically it's just sort of like a soccer match. There'll be some round robin games and then a final competition. And it's a chance to see how our robots stack up against others and just exchange ideas. If you think about little kids playing soccer and older people playing soccer, and think about the difference, like all the things that a little kid cannot do that an older person can, computer science has to fill that whole gap. So you could say, you know, I want the robot to go behind the ball to set up for a shot. But what you really have to tell the computer to do is, you know, find the vector between the ball and the goal and go there minus an offset. Uh, and you really need the computer science to be able to express yourself in a way that the robots can understand. We all work on very different parts of the robot, but we really need to coordinate. It's a big challenge and it's great when we all like work on something together. Um, so we'll build the mechanical part of it and then the electrical engineers will put on, make the circuit boards and the computer science people will have done their simulations and then try and figure out how they can combine that and make the robot actually move. I think really robotics is often about iteration. You do take one step forward, you take two steps back, you try to make one thing better, it makes something else worse. On the computer science team we've made a lot of uh, progress on our artificial intelligence. Uh, we threw out all the old strategy code and have been making something that's much more adaptive to how the other team is playing. Um, so on defense, we do things like ranking the most dangerous players and covering them in a man-to-man -man defense uh, based on that. And then on offense, we generate these maps over the entire field of how good the spot is and then assign our robots to these dynamically. They need to be able to see, they need to be able to understand the world, uh, they need to be able to move fast and turn and manipulate. They need to be able to notice their teammates and understand what they're doing. Uh, they need to have a strategy and they need to adapt their strategy because their opponent will be doing things all the time and so you can't have a predetermined plan. You have to be able to adapt. Since last year's competition, we've done a lot of advances, especially in the wheel design. We've shifted the motors down and made everything much more compact which has allowed us to move our center of gravity down, which allows us to go faster and also put in a dribbler, which is something we've wanted for a long time, but just haven't been able to make fit until now. So each of the circuit boards on the robot has a different purpose. The four big ones there and there, and there each control one of the motors. Um, so that it basically takes a signal from the computer, um, decides how fast the wheel should spin, and sends the correct voltage to the wheels to do that. Um, so like this board here controls this motor and this one here controls this motor. Uh, we also have these two boards in the middle. This one right here controls charging these big capacitors for the kicker. Um, this board here controls um, when the robot kicks by using this light sensor right here to see when the ball is in front of it. It also controls the dribbler here, which we use uh, to put backspin on the ball so we can move backwards with it. It's not just you're trying to win, it's that you're trying to advance knowledge. and so. You work on whatever you work on, and then you have to release a paper saying exactly what you did that's so cool and how other people can do that and that they can build on your work. And so if there's something so advanced some, someone comes up with, everybody can sort of draw on that. Um, you, can, you can have that for one year, and maybe nobody else can use it that year, but then the next year everybody else will have modified it and done the same thing. And so it's really just moving forwards and not staying in the same place. I definitely want to be working on robotics in my career. Um, I think that there's just a lot of amazing things that can be done to automate things, to make cars safer, uh, to make just really everything work automatically so that people don't have to do things that are, are dangerous or dull. Um, there's just so many things that robots can do better than people, and I think that as a society we need to start doing those to free people up to do more interesting things.